Joining us now with reaction is the White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley. Hogan, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. So, uh, you know, I'm curious about your proposal here from the White House uh, to move illegals into sanctuary cities due to Flores, by the way, because we can't detain sure. more than 20 days families. And I want to make that clear. I'm curious. I'd like your perspective on it. Why aren't liberal governors and mayors out there celebrating Hogan? I, I mean, they've wanted them in their cities. They, some of them are even proposing to allow them to vote. Look, we have a crisis at our southern border. It's been well documented on this show many times. Donald Trump predicted this. Democrats mocked and derided him when he said we would see a record surge coming across our southern border. And here we are, 100,000 plus last month alone. It is increasing on pace for over a million this year. And Democrats' only solution to this is to say, let's make everything that's illegal, legal. It's completely ridiculous. And so the president said, listen, I understand where you are. You're not lifting a finger to help uh, uh, protect American families at all. You say you want open borders, Democrats. You say that illegal aliens have a right to be here regardless of the costs. So you need to work with us, our administration, and come up with a way that we can transport illegal aliens that are going to be released anyway, based on Democrat policies, into your communities, in your districts, in your states. That's the way it needs to be done. Democrats Democrats say they want them in those uh, cities and sanctuary cities, which are set up as sanctuaries for illegal aliens. They say they want it. The president said, fine, we'll put, uh, put your money where your mouth is. We're going to send them to your districts. Tell us when and where to deliver them, and we'll do just that. You know, Hogan, I find it puzzling that the left is making a legality argument on this in favor of illegal immigration. Um, is this ironic? I mean, is it, has this escaped the left? And one more thing I'd like to get your opinion on. It was interesting. Julian Castro did a town hall on another network, and he referred to this policy as cruel. Um, and I had suggested earlier, and I'll continue to, well, what's particularly cruel about it? I mean, it's only cruel if you view illegal immigration as a burden. Am I reading this wrong? That's His words, not mine, by the way. You're absolutely right. Listen, they said it was to, to attack our political opponents and, and that it was wrong for us to suggest this. Wait a minute. We're not attacking anybody. At the very least, you should have characterized it as an olive branch to work with the Democrats. You say, Democrats, that you want all of these illegal aliens to come into this country uh, unchecked. We have to release them based on the laws you put on the books and that you won't change. So that's fine. Logically, we would just work with you because along the southern border, Dan, San, uh, San Antonio, San Diego, El Paso, Yuma, we continue to release people into the same communities. It's a burden. The, the folks that don't work for government, the private organizations are telling us we are overtaxed. We can't do enough from our charities to protect or help any of these people. We've right. got to put them in other places across the country. The logical landing spot for so many of these illegal aliens are the sanctuary cities that Democrats say they love, and they say they want uh, these people to come into the country illegally and unlawfully, and they should go to those places. And we're just asking Democrats, we're here to help you out. Where do you want them? And we're happy to take them there. You know, Hogan, I know at times it must feel like in the White House, you, you guys and ladies there are out there on an island, that you're getting very little help with regard to what should have been a bipartisan issue, just establishing our borders. Um, but have the Democrats proposed to you, are they working with the White House? on any, I mean this, any substantive proposal at all to ensure that people who come into the country just do it by our laws? Anything at all you can put out for our audience? A absolutely not. I I've heard no uh, no particular plan at all from Democrats. Listen, they are choosing to stand with hundreds of thousands of people who pour into this country illegally and unlawfully, as opposed to hundreds of, of millions of American citizens. They cannot and will not address this issue at all. I guess it's just political because Donald Trump's in the White House and they think they can get these people in the country and then get them to vote for them one day. But the fact is, we see human smuggling, child smuggling, uh, uh, human trafficking, the drug cartels. They control the southern border. The situation is so dire and so sad. And Democrats won't lift a finger to work with the White House to protect our people in, in the American communities, but also to stop this horrific practice of using children to come into this country illegally. Yeah. We've actually arrested or busted up several uh, child smuggling rings in which they use the same child multiple 
multiple times to send them back to to, to the uh, uh, you know El Salvador and Honduras and yeah. Guatemala to come back up. They use them multiple times. It's such a tragic circumstance down there, and Democrats won't do anything. Uh, to stop it at all. Everything they're doing incentivizes more of this bad, illegal behavior. Yeah. And for the life of me, I can't understand why they won't do a thing to work with this White House to protect American communities. Their only solution is to let everyone come in here, not have a southern border, and release them into your communities, into your school, schools, into your neighborhoods. It's unacceptable. Yeah, it's, it's sad, Hogan. You know, uh, the idea of enforceable borders used to be bipartisan. But uh, I really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight, Hogan.